Hey everyone, this is Brett from Lost Highway and Vanguard Overland. Uh, we're going to give you a little info today on our overhead cabinets and how to mount them, especially when it comes to using a stock headliner in the Sprinter van. Uh, we do have cabinets here that have a contour that contours the actual stock factory headliner. And we now have a bracketry kit that we supply with this uh, head, uh, headliner cabinet for an easy installation. So follow along and we're gonna take you through a step-by-step -step of how to install these bracket kit and our stock headliner cabinet. Okay, the first phase of mounting these cabinets into your Sprinter with a stock headliner is to set the cabinet in your desired position. Uh, we have this one here set up with some uh, load extenders, some leveling jacks. These come in real handy to support the cabinet in place while you decide which direction you wanna shift it and mount it. Um, in these vans, the headliner seam usually always lands on a structural roof beam in the ceiling of the van. So we try to use those for reference. Um, we have multiple slots, mounting slots, in our cabinets in the top flange. And you can see in the back, in the rear flange, this is where we'll be mounting to the horizontal beam that runs across the van. Also, you'll note our nice contour right here we have on the end cap that matches the stock headliner. Okay, so after you get your cabinet set forward and aft and you rotate the face the way you want it, get your leveling jack set and then we'll move on to the next step of how we install these. Okay, before we remove our cabinet, we're going to need to mark uh, some places to drill. We're gonna need to drill through the headliner with an eighth inch drill bit or something small to get through the headliner material. And we're actually gonna put a drill like witness mark on the back steel. So we're not gonna drill all the way through the steel, but we are gonna go through the headliner, through our slots in the cabinets, and we're gonna make a mark on the horizontal beam in the back. And that's gonna be where we use this bracket that we make that actually installs after the headliner is taken out on the horizontal beam and gives us a place to bolt with an existing riv nut, and it makes up the air gap in the, in the, cat, in the headliner for the cabinet. <clears throat> These guys here, we don't need to drill the top just yet. Uh, these are gonna go in when the headliner removes and these are gonna get installed on the actual factory roof beam. And it'll give us a nice, fresh, clean area to install our rib nuts and mount the top of the cabinet. So we're gonna go ahead and mark right now and then we'll begin pulling the headliner out. Okay, we've got some uh, Sharpie marks here that we, that we marked on the headliner through the slot in the back of the cabinet. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and drill through a few of these and we wanna hit the steel in the back. Make your mark on the steel. And then we're now we'll remove the headliner. Okay, so we have all the holes uh, pre-drilled in the headliner through the back for the cabinet for where we're gonna mount. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove the headliner starting with the, uh, the pillar body cladding. Um, on the plastic, we like to use these uh, plastic uh, body clip removal tools. Metal ones are available also, but you can buy these at a hardware store or whatever. So uh, you'll need to get this up underneath these body clips and work them out. And this is a two-stage clip, so it might take a little prying. Pop the outer cap, and then you can pop that, work your way all the way up, remove the cladding, and then we'll show you on how to remove the headliner. Okay, so all your cladding has been pulled off, body clips removed. We've snapped the first, uh, the rear first panel out of the way, just to kind of show you how to get the continuous ones snapped out. Uh, lights are dropped out. If you have a fan, we pulled the fan shroud off. Uh, basically, there's a part of the headliner that snaps into these oval mounts here. You lift it up and pull towards you, 
and snap the clip out of this uh, oval hole here. Do it on both sides. Carefully, you don't want to break it. Just like that. And then you want to go through and pop the headliner down from up here. It's got plastic clips. You just give it a good solid tug. Okay, now those are set free. You want to grab the front of the headliner and start wiggling it backwards. Okay, on a side note, these are the clips that are actually fastened into the factory headliner, uh, plastic factory Mercedes clips. Make sure that you order some extra before you start this project. You can see you might break a couple. The this little shoulder here is pretty sensitive when we pop the headliner out. Uh, they will snap. You might lose a couple here in this process, so make sure you get a bag full of these. I think we can get them on Amazon or maybe contact your local Mercedes dealer. All right. Okay, now you've got your headliner panels out. These We took three panels out to get where we're going to mount these two cabinets. Uh, we've located our witness marks from our drill where we went through the headliner and marked the actual steel in the van. We're going to uh, circle those so we can see them good. We're going to put a center punch on those marks and get a good center point indicator for our drill. And that's where we're going to mount, mount our spacer brackets, the lower spacer brackets for the actual head uh, cabinet mounting. We'll show you that next. Okay, as you can see in the factory headliner, there's a curve here that returns back to the wall. These are the clips that we removed from the oval cutouts on the side of the sprinter. Uh, this is our bracket, our spacer bracket that has a preset insert, uh, threaded insert into it. This makes up the gap that you need between the, the side wall of the van and the headliner to bolt into this so you're not crushing this fabric uh, headliner when you bolt the cabinet on. So we're gonna show you how to install these now that we remove these headliner panels. Okay, so we found our three marks that we use for the lower the lower mounting of the, uh, the cabinet to the side of this van. On this bracket, these are two screw holes that you're gonna use to either screw or rivet this into the van. This center indicator is what you want to line up on your hole that you made or your witness mark you made with your drill. So what you want to do is visibly line this hole up with this mark in the back. Then now you can mark where you're going to install these. You can do that through all three points. Go back, you can pre-drill and rivet these, or you can uh, pre-drill, run some heavy sheet metal screws, however you want. We prefer to rivet these to the wall so that screws don't vibrate out. Okay, this is the upper bracket that we make that basically attaches to the roof beam of the van. Um, what it does when you pull the headliner, you're gonna notice a whole series of holes in here, factory holes. These ones from here on out, are in the roof beam for the headliner attached to, but we've made a cover plate that goes on here that gives you all new steel so that you're not, when you drill up into the uh, roof beam from our cabinet, you're not mistakenly hitting a factory hole. So what we'll do is we'll place these in position. And then from the side, you can see over here, we've got four ears, two on each side. We'll pre-drill here, pre-drill back here, here and here and attach these with with uh, 3 16 rivets also and you can do that in two spots um, after your spacers and then we'll be ready to start putting things back together and installing the cabinet
Okay, now we've got one of our spacers in and one of our roof beam covers that takes care of covering all the factory holes. This gives us fresh clean metal to drill and riv nut through our headliner. And then uh, our spacer has a, like I said before, a preset uh, threaded rib nut in there and your guide hole through your uh, headliner should line up with that exactly where you pre-drilled and we'll cut a hole around that headliner before we install it and then this will be exposed and then we'll have these exposed and get ready to start mounting things back up. Now it's time to put the headliner back in. Okay, headliner's back in, uh, cabinets are mounted, nice and secure. We've got three bolts, quarter 20 bolts holding the back in on the lower section, two up on the top, if these, if these uh, roof ribs here, and everything's nice and stout. 